in the face of adversity, nothing quite compares to the human spirit. We can only handle so much injustice before we cease to fear it. Nothing unites us quite like having our lives crushed by choices that we did not make. But the choice is ours to make sure our spirit doesn't break. From the other side of the world, I can feel your tears hit the ground. Because this level of pain is felt through more than just sound. Your so-called liberators operate under principles like family and grace. So then why do they spill your blood and spit in your face? For ways of peace need no more than the simple transport of words. But oppression is carried out through the hands of force. Truth is silenced by the deafening explosions of destruction that now plague your homes. But remember, you aren't just fighting for your family, your friends, your homes, and your lives. You're fighting for all the ideals for which humanity strives. You fight for the hope to be free, the ideal to self-govern, the dream that one day we can carry on being careless and happy. We cherish the idea that we can hand our children a world where the only burden is what to do with so much time. They say that ignorance is bliss. I say that it is selfishness. We could turn a blind eye, but to turn the blind eye means to never really see. And I would rather die knowing that I had truly lived than to pass a hundred years later wondering what I could have given. And as you awake to make the many impossible decisions that you have today, remember that there will always be people like them there may not always be people like you.